Good morning to you from my office in the Bahamas and wow, what a week it's been. Every day is changing and we are in a new world. It is so different right now. Uh, we've got like 200 million people quarantined uh, all over the planet. Uh, the Bahamas had her first case uh, just the other day and social distancing is happening here. So I thought I'd share with you some tips on how you can reduce the fear, uh, get back in charge and uh, make good decisions, uh, which will help you to reform and, and get great results. The problem is, is, is our mind in charge of us or are we in charge of our mind? Is fear in charge of us or are we in charge of fear? And right now, when you look at the world, there is uh, a lot of mind out there, a lot of minding, uh, and basically fear is running the game. So it's everywhere, it's in the media, it's in the papers, uh, and people are making decisions based on that. And so the markets are tumbling, um, uh, people are rushing to the supermarkets. So the question is, you know, how do we get back in charge? So I'm gonna share with you five things that uh, can help. And I think the first one is, we've gotta breathe. The first one is breathing. And you know, one of the first things I learned in sports psychology is the power of breath. So belly breathing, breathing from in through your nose, out through your nose, from your belly, uh, helps to shut off the amygdala and brings you back into the present. So breathing regularly, deep breathing is going to help a lot. The second one I think is get out there and connect with nature. You know, uh, who is the winner in all of this? Actually, the winner is nature, climate. The skies over uh, China are, are blue, uh, less planes, less pollution. So the climate is really winning. Planet, the Mother Earth planet uh, is, is really uh, benefiting from the lack of activity from human beings. So get out there and enjoy it. Um, just go for a walk on the beach uh, or uh, spend time in nature, do some forest bathing. <laughs> but uh, connect with nature, it's really gonna soothe the soul. The third one I'm thinking of there is, is start to think we, not me. Uh, Muhammad Ali talked, uh, had the, the shortest poem in the world. Me, we. I love that one. And so I highly recommend uh, thinking we, how can you serve? How can you help? Um, how can you take care of each other? And start to think about we. I think that's the next shift. Moving out of the ego into um, uh, thinking of others more, which is really going to help. A lot of people need help nowadays. Um, the next one is, is I think if you can take the time to be present and reflect uh, on your life, you know, ask some, some big questions of yourself. Like if you had all the time and money in the world, what would you do? Uh, what do you really want? Why are you here? Uh, and, and start to reflect. You have time. There's a lot of people at home working from home now. Great to get, uh, you know, step back uh, and get the big picture on your life. Um, you know, one of the things that we do here at Carroll Consultancy Group is we help teams um, to perform better uh, virtually and uh, remotely. So we have an amazing tool, the Fingerprint for Success. Coming up very soon in April, we have a group debrief. Uh, for free, you can go online and, and really uh, get your own assessment, look at your own uh, programs and, and your motivations and attitudes and how they affect your, your uh, behavior and results as a leader um, and in business, if you're the, the, the leader of a startup or the leader of a scale business. So there's, there's great things that you can do when you're, when you're at home. And um, so we're looking forward to being there for, for you in these times and uh, reach out if you have any questions. Um, and I think those are the things that uh, you can do to uh, be more effective and, and make the most of, of uh, this opportunity to grow and develop.
uh, in these times. Take care and uh, look forward to talking to you soon.